Okay, a very common one on the BMWs is this fault here. Customer gets in the car, key in, get a steering lock symbol. If you're lucky, the car will still start. After a while, it will eventually stop starting um, because it's registering a fault in the steering lock. And a lot of people replace locks and modules and all sorts unnecessarily. Um, Doing a lot of BMWs over the years, and I've only ever had to replace two steering locks. Uh, I've had to replace CAD, CAS modules, but for different reasons, not for the software. Um, so, this is a software issue, um, and what you'll do is when you scan the car, you'll get code A0AA, CAS Control Unit Fault. If you actually look up the fault, it's um, a steering lock fault. And as ever, lots of tools will do this, but for a budget sort of multi brand. A workshop scanner, the Autel does come to the rescue. But as ever with Autel, I'm going to turn the engine off, um, it is not straightforward. Uh, let's leave the ignition on. I don't think you actually have to have the ignition on. Um, so we're in the CAS module at the moment, CAS module. Uh, we'll come out of there. We have active testing. Oh, we've got general, which, oh, look, lets you reset it. Doesn't do anything. So the procedure would be reset it and reset the control module. It doesn't actually work. You come out of here, you think, okay. Go out of there. Go into your, well, we'll go into hot functions, for example. Uh, immobilizer and keys, because it's basically a key problem. Uh, DME and CAS interface, just you can re realign them and do uh, testing. Reset the electronic immobilizer, the starter lock. Ooh, but that's for EWS models, which is earlier models. This is a CAS module, so usually um, on like E sixties, E sixty fives, which I think this is an E sixty three. There's a six series on there. Um, E nineties stuff like that, like E forty sixes and E thirty nines have EWS, the earlier version. So we have CAS. So none of this is any good. You think, oh, it doesn't do it. Oh, let's let's try in service mode. You go in, you go, oh, it's, um, oh, what is it? Body or powertrain? Well, it's under powertrain. CS. <gasps> Reset starter lock. Brilliant. Oh, no, EWS again. Oh, clearly the hotel doesn't do it. Let's give up and send it off to the dealer. But what you can do, come out of here altogether. Manually select your vehicle. I don't know why Autel haven't fixed this. I've been an Autel user for years and it's always been like this. They've, uh, they've sorted out a lot of stuff like battery resets and that, but they still haven't got around to this. So we've got a 6 Series. It's uh, E63. Um, ooh, I don't even know what it is. It's probably... That'll do. It's right and drive. It's 2007, this one, I think. We'll go for that guy there. We go back into it. Should have got the job card with me so I knew the details of the vehicle, but we'll try it anyway. Uh, see, ooh, these are slightly different. ELV counterfault versus the steering lock. So after you do this, you've got some little instructions. Continue the service function. Do -be -do 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 -do. Um, again, I do mean to do some more auto related videos and some more diagnostical videos, but I have a very busy work and personal life, so I do what I can when I can. I was planning on spending some time doing one big video on all the stuff this can do on BMWs, it's so good on BMs. However, um, uh, I just haven't found the time yet, so I think I'll just do lots of small ones, and someone will get bored by long ones anyway. Right, that's that bit done. Service function is finished. We turn off our ignition. Take our key out. We always open and close the door. Give the car a little lock, it don't really matter. Come back out there. Come out with all this crap, go into diagnosis. Oh, better unlock the car before I try and open the door. Open the door again. Whack the key in, let's see. Oh, well, that fault appears to be gone. But. For the sake of being professional, we'll do a scan. I'm sure it's probably got other faults. It's an old BM. Yeah. I'll 
do. Uh, where's our cars? I don't know. It's still scanning that, so it won't let me go into anything yet. Yep, where's our cars? There. Uh, read our code. There. Read our code. Read our code. No fault detected anymore. You can see that wouldn't delete previously. Uh, we should quickly erase everything else. And again, like I say, to be professional, we will let it do what it's doing. Yeah, that's all done. Key out the ignition. Out the car. Close the door. Lock the car. Oh, have I closed the door properly? No, I haven't. Why is it not closing? Lock the car. Unlock the car. Open the car. Get back in the car. We turn our ignition on. We have no lock symbol. We have no faults at all anymore. We'll check our fault code one more time to be sure. No code. Done. So that is how you do a a zero AA fault code on a BMW. Reset the starter counter, uh, the um, steering lock counter. Um, very common problem. It's, I know it's a bit backwards how you do it on the Autel, but it does it. So there you go, another little Autelli trick. Um, by the way, this didn't come in for that. I induced that fault. It's not difficult to make it um, fault. Cool. Thank you. Bye.